Today we're going to look at the power of adding multiple levels to an assembly to easily create very complex animation movements. You may have seen this explained in an old version of the software, but the concept is very powerful so we're reintroducing it here. First, let's look at the assembly tree and we can see one object with all the parts. I'm going to go ahead and add a couple levels of assembly. So I'm going to create an assembly group and we'll create one more. And I'm going to call this Holly because that's the movement we're going to be making in this assembly. And we'll call this one Translation. Now I'm going to put the Skate assembly into the Holly assembly and the Holly assembly into the Translation assembly. Or Translation if you spell like me. And now it's important, in assembly mode, we're going to pick just this top level of a translation assembly and move it across the screen. We'll set our time, end time about four seconds, and we'll just kind of move it across the screen like that. Now, about one second, I want to start my Holly movement, and I'm just going to set a location key for that. And then we'll just move it a little bit more and I want to rotate this assembly up so using my alt key I'm going to rotate on this axis up about maybe 35 40 degrees I'm just gonna move my timeline out a bit and I'll flatten this out by rotating it back up along this assembly and we'll just move this timeline a little bit more and I want to copy this first key back so it's going to bring that holly back down. So now we have this coming up, flattening out and coming down. Now in between I want to use the skate movement to set a location key and then in between I want to rotate back about 360 degrees. So I'm just going to click once and type in 360. So now if we play that back we'll be able to see the object move up, flip, rotate around and come back down. Kind of a complex animation but broken down into very simple parts. So there's your tip of the day. Hope it helps.